right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K22, we got a lot of things to talk about today, but just a little bit of time to talk about it. Then we're gonna try to keep this video short, sweet. And uh, just, just straight to the point, man. So if you don't do nothing else, make sure you like the video because every time y'all like the video, it helps me get to that oh so coveted 100K. We trying to get it for the end of the year, man. Like the video, subscribe, and I'm bringing y'all bangers on bangers on bangers. Today we got a banger video, man. It's going to be uh, how to deal with the 5'8 guards and, you know, really short guards, what you can do to them, how to abuse them, and then also how to actually defend them. This is going to be a good breakdown video. Don't want to miss that. And uh, also, we bring an LDU back. I got my boy Shaq working on the design and all that good stuff. And also, if you like t-shirts and stuff, Check the link in the description, Breeze Tees. We got our own merch, man. This is like, this is one of the shirts I made myself. And uh, you know, like I said, man, without further ado, uh, let's just get right into the video, man. Check it out, bro. Look, Tips of whole event, man. Like, I, I don't even know what to really say about it. They didn't do it the way that they said they were gonna do it. Now, we all know that every time 2K does an event, it, it may or may not go the way that it's supposed to go. But this one just didn't go anywhere near what it was supposed to. And a lot of people were confused. They was like, how do you even play the game? How do you even play the event? Uh, check it out. I mean, I, obviously, I got the gear. You know what I'm talking about? I got the swag. You know what I'm talking about? I got to have the swag. Oh, I'll take the swag. Let me have the swag. You know what I'm saying? Look at it. I wanted to put it up, but I, I want to put the hood up. We put the hood up. You can't have the towel, man. I got to have the best drip. Let me know, do I have the best drip or not? Down in the comments. Oh, look at the drip. Look at the drip. But anyway, man, this is how the chick uh, I was gonna say Chick-fil-A event supposed to go. Y'all can tell what my head is right now. This is how the Chips Ahoy event was supposed to go. Chips Ahoy event, NBA 2K22. Let's go into dark mode because my eyes are old. Um, let me see. It says uh, NBA 2K22 partnering with popular cookie brand Chips Ahoy for uh for the first weekend event in the uh, in next gen version uh, of the title. My players can play in the park for two times rep. And that was clutch because I did hit 40 off of that. And uh, with a grand prize of a million VC. The event is scheduled from 12 p.m. to, you know, until 9 p.m., uh, whatever, whatever. Uh, let's see, this is the main thing. In order to, this is the main thing that most people did not, did not know. In order to participate, players must play games in the park, uh, park event to earn double, double, v, double, double rep and win the million VC. Every win will grant the player a game ball with numbers and a team attached. To win the VC, the numbers on the ball must match one another. Must match another. Okay, I'm reading it slow because I want y'all to understand like how silly this was that we did. Because I, to win the, look, let's just go back. Let's just go back. Every win will grant the player a game ball with numbers and a team attached. To win the VC, the numbers on one of the balls must match one of the others. And it was a whole thing of game balls. We're gonna show y'all that. Uh, players can win. Players can also win event clothing and uh, you know by matching team balls. Blah blah blah. I don't know what I want. I figured they. I guess they figured that we just gonna get y'all some team clothing and whatever. But look, these are the balls. There was a, there was some mystery balls or whatever, whatever, whatever. And uh, it really doesn't even matter what they look like because we never even got those balls. Like. Yes, that's that's what it was supposed to be. I think Solo DF probably tweeted out tweeted out something like that. Cause like I say, hey, look, you know, some of them they got the they got the drip too, man. You know what I'm talking about? See, they got the drip too. The first tip, so hard went. I mean, I got the swag. Oh, I takes the swag. You know what I'm talking about? We got the swag over here, man. But I think they tweeted out what it was actually supposed to look like, man. We're gonna see if we can find it um, on that while we going. Ah, right, here we go, right here. So this is what the balls were supposed to look like. Uh, pause, pause! Look, this is what it was supposed to look like right here, man. This this is it. It was supposed to be after every game, you're supposed to get a, get a game ball, and if it matched, if the team and the number matched, you were supposed to win. After every game, we got no team balls. We got none of that stuff. None of that stuff happened. Nothing popped up. N nothing happened, blah, 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 yakety schmackety. So we don't know if we won or not, or who won or who didn't, or if it was even possible to win. None of this stuff, bro. We got none of the information. 2K didn't say anything about it. They didn't tell us anything. They don't. They didn't elaborate on the event. I had to dive to the bottom of the internet by doing a very simple search on the Chips Ahoy event. And uh, so we know how the event was supposed to go. 
but it just didn't go that way. And I just feel like, come on, come on, 2K. Like, like not only did the event shut off people's Xboxes, and it also was making us lag terribly on uh, Saturday and just kicking people out of the game. Kick grew out of the game two or three days. They got it together on Sunday. But the thing is, like, most people had no idea how to play the event at all. We were just out there like, bro, how do you play? And we thought we had to go to the event center. We were going to try to play. And then at the end of the game, it was showing... You know, you got the added Chips Ahoy bonus, all that good stuff, so everything was good. But it was just the fact that like, we had no no clue how to play the game and that we didn't get the game balls. We never got into that stuff. And so, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. That's, that's, that's crazy to me. But hopefully they'll elaborate more on it in the future. Not likely. But, hey, we're going to see, man. Uh, also, up next, man, we had La, your boy La. He won, uh, won a little tournament. Uh, not a little tournament. They won a tournament. On Saturday or what have you. I watched the whole thing. It was it was pretty good. He just said W Stream played and won uh won uh, the tourney uh, won Wheels tourney off one hour of sleep and peaked at 5k. Uh thank y'all. Feel good to be back. And like he said, bro, me and T was talking about that, bro. I might have took last year off, but y'all gotta see this cat this year, man. And he didn't even care. He does not care how you feel about it. It's crazy because so many people want him to be like, like the biggest thing, this is a big controversy in the community right now, that he's playing with a popper. He plays with Rail. Rail, uh, and I, I want to say the dude that was playing, Hezzy that was playing in the corner is is a shooting lock also. So he's playing with a, a, a shooting lock and he's playing with a, a shooting center. And people don't like that because you can just, you can literally set a paperweight screen and then he can go ISO your center and he can use mismatch expert to uh, get a shot. Now he was saying, hey, look, man, I'm ISOing. I'm not going just rim running ISOing. I'm actually getting up a shot here. Like I'm going out on my shield. I'm going to take a three. It's going to be smothered. It's going to be open. It's going to be whatever. But I'm going to give y'all a chance. This is my way of giving y'all a chance. But you can't really tell me how to play the game. And that's the thing, man. It's like, I can always salute somebody that dare to be different and dare to be great because everybody in the community is doing the same thing and everybody's wondering why people aren't aren't watching videos and doing this and doing that. It's like, bro, y'all already put out there, this is the best bill, the, you know, the 5-8 bill, this is the best bill, this is what you do. This is what. So why would anybody watch anything else if they feel like that's all you got to do is left, right, around screen? And yes, it is hard to stop and you can do it to the tune of, of 70 80 win percent but then you're gonna run into somebody that actually knows how to defend it like 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 we do most of the time when 2k don't bro don't you hate when you defend this stuff and you do everything right and 2k just gives them the bounce of the ball or you get a steal or, like you get a break in the game and it's like 2k just wants to give them the game and they're already cheesing it it, it hurts so bad but at any rate what I was saying was, look, I don't care how y'all feel. I'm playing the game. I, I like my, my supporters support me. That's all I care about. I don't care how y'all feel. Forget your feelings. You can't tell me how to play. I'm not going to play the way that y'all want me to play. And I'm not going to sit here and, and go back and forth with people over the internet about a, about a, a virtual game about it. I'm going to play how I want to play. Like that, And that's something that I always say. Like, how y'all going to try to ban a popper? Just because you don't want to defend it. Like I said, it seems like he had Hezzy that had the shooting, the shooting lock. And then he got a, um, you know, he got his, he got rail that had the shooting, the shooting uh, center. And it's just like, bro, this is just me in my mind. On current gen, if you cannot stop a player one on one anyway, which you probably you, you can't do it really in, in in current or next gen. But if you can't stop a player anyway, and you got to double team this man anyway, and a pure red can't stop him anyway, why don't you run? The uh, why why wouldn't you run the shooting center and the shooting lock so you can have a, a, a uh extra uh not what you call it so you can have more uh availability or, or what have you so you can have more opportunity more offensive firepower more or less I just don't understand that why would I limit myself in a game where you already can't play defense that well we got to double this dude anyway so why don't why don't we just do this dude about to hit me with the walk back of Oh, no, he he didn't do it. He got slapped. That's, that's right. Right. Shit out here, nigga. But anyway, so, like I said, I, I don't understand why you would put yourself in an offensive box when you can't play defense one-on-one -on -one anyway. So having that guy like that, you can't play defense anyway, you might as well just play the game just like that. Just like they're doing. Spread the floor out, give yourself extra off offensive opportunities, and do it like that. I don't know. I might be wrong, but he's there to be different, there to be great. Everybody in the 2K community always, yeah, I'm, I'm growing, I'm growing, I'm, I'm popular because I'm different, I'm different, I'm different. And then somebody truly 
chooses to be different and then we want to shun him. But in my eyes, he's playing the game the right way and everybody else is cheesing. Why wouldn't you take advantage of a mismatch and all of that good stuff, man? And from, I mean, if y'all want to say the left, right, left, right stuff, yeah, I mean, I, I could deal with that. But you know, like I said, that'll be great. That'll be different. That'll be everything. And that brings us down to Ice Trey, man. Check it out. Man, oh, so look right here, hold on. first, first of all. We didn't see no Chips Ahoy stuff right there. We're going to roll it back. You didn't see him give us no game balls. Only thing I got was the double event bonus. So they clearly dropped the ball on that. But these ice trays is in the building. Man, Trey came out with the coldest shoes this weekend. Ooh, and no pun intended. I went to the Adidas site this morning. I could not find them all weekend. I went to the Adidas site this morning and check it out. One pair of 14s left in stock. We putting them in the bag. We about to get them right now. Oh! <laughs> all right, so that's all we got for y'all today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, If y'all see anybody with the ice trays or y'all find them locally or anything like that, just let me know. I would I would love to get a pair of those. Um, they cold as heck too, man. I mean, um, what I like the best is they got the icy guy. They got Gucci Mane. Gucci Mane LeBear on the back, man. All oh, these girls excited. Who you know you like it? I'm so icy. So I said, so, uh, oh yeah, now, now you want to tell me that the shoes is out. Anyway, man, check. I, I love each and every last one of y'all. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Uh, are you an ISO guy or are you a, um, did, 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 did 2K drop the ball on this number one? Are you an ISO guy or are you a, um, screens guy? We do both. Not even going to lie to you. It's so effective. This like, why not do both? And, um, were you able to get a pair out of Trey Young's and the hype beast freeze you out too? And who side you on? Lie or D Boy? Let me know down that all, all, all Let me know all of that down in the comment section, man. <sighs> and I'ma holler at y'all next time. Me and my freakish feet are out. <laughs>